The Good Ones is a song that's all about the highs and lows yeah. of lost love. I think this is a theme that lots of us can relate to, yeah. but it's a theme that also you've been very candid yeah. about in the past. Um, this theme about letting go. So talk about this song and how it resonates with you. Oh my God, I think uh, no matter what the loss is, uh, whether it's a family member, whether it's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, we all go through it. And at a certain point in my life, I decided to not hold on to negativity and bad things and I choose to see the positive and the beauty in everything. Because if you search somewhere in there, in the bad, there is good. Mm -hmm. So when I heard the song first, yeah. that's what clicked. Oh, I love that. I love that. So the crossover collaboration phenomenon of of course, yeah. is absolutely yeah. huge. Think Little Nas X's collaboration with Billy Ray Cyrus on Old Town Road. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like your song is like a rare Canadian example of this. Why do you think it's important for artists to sort of transcend genres and, and collaborate together? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why we don't see more of it, yeah. especially in Canada. Yeah. I mean, one of the coolest things about this collaboration is you're bringing two artists from different genres of music. You got Mackie Mae, who's a massive pop star, and myself, who sings country music, and you're putting the two worlds together to create something that's extra special for yeah. the fans. Yeah. 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 And music, yeah, and yeah. music should not have a format. Music should not be put in a box. In a box, yeah. Exactly. So okay. it's so fun. Yeah. Trying yeah. To and then you get people things. from both sides. Fans. Yes, exactly. It's a great mix. Yeah. Uh, Tebe, you've been making music for 15 years. Well, you're, age you're aging me a oh, little sorry, bit. sorry. <laughs> Oh, but you're a writer, a performer, you're a producer, um, but you haven't just done your own songs. You've actually created work for global superstars like, oh, you know, Cher, uh, <laughs> One Direction, Fifth Harmony. Yeah. So I'm, I'm always curious for writers, how does it feel when you write something that's very personal yeah. and then you hear those words being sung from mm. someone else's mouth? Yeah. Man, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. I mean, it's kind of cool to hear Harry Styles sings when he's songs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really, really cool. I mean, I've been really lucky over the years to, to have people, um, not only in country, but in pop, yeah. want to record my songs. And it's, it's, it's still to this day, it's really, really special. I mean, I, I can't tell you what it was like to go to a, watch a stadium full of tweens sing a, <laughs> sing, a, sing a One Direction song that I wrote. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, uh, that yeah. doesn't happen to too many people. That's actually. still on no. my bucket list. Uh, I didn't do it, I'll get there. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you in the hot seat, because let's talk bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you could write for anyone, who would it be? This is, a, this is an easy one, Maroon 5. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys, yeah. yeah. I'm a huge, uh, huge Maroon 5 fan, Adam Levine. Uh, I so am too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Adam Levine fans here in the audience today, but I'd love to work with those guys. Yeah. Amazing, for sure. Okay, let's talk about life on the road, because I can't imagine it, it's always yeah. easy, it's hectic. And Emily, you, you have a young daughter. She's yeah. just turned three? Yeah, she's gonna turn three this oh! winter. <laughs> Joy. Let's touch it. She comes on the road with you. She sits in the makeup chair sometimes yeah. with you. So what has it been like for you to introduce her to your world and sort I, of share this experience with her? I'm trying to share the real side of it, not the glamorous life, because life is not always glamorous. It oftentimes is yeah. not. It's mm -hmm. the opposite, actually. But I want to show her what I do for a living. I want her to understand what music is. My father uh, is a songwriter, and he, he uh, introduced me to music at a quite young age as mm -hmm. well. So I want to leave a good imprint like that on her. But to me, it's always finding that balance of showing her, but not too much. I, I wouldn't want her on tour all the time. Mm -hmm. It's grueling, and she's good at daycare, and I want her where right. she's, <laughs> yeah. you know, happy. So I'm trying to do the best that I can, you mm -hmm. know? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> You're originally from Burlington, Ontario. Yeah. Shout out to right. Burlington, right. love it. Oh yeah, nice. And oh my gosh, it's incredible. Nice. So at the age of 15, you're 15 years old, you yeah. moved to Nashville where yeah. you're now based, and it's something that plenty of Canadian country artists do. Sure. And what often happens is sometimes America's very quick to claim them as their own. So I wanna know, are you going to do that? <laughs> and how are you going to ensure that you stay true to your Canadian roots? I mean, I'm a Canadian kid, I grew up here, and I'm, yeah, I'm never, it's the truth. You know, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, are you a Nashville Predators fan? Oh. And I say no, because I'm a huge Leafs fan. Oh. Nice. 
I mean, I, I'm from the GTA, right? So, but no, I mean, I, I live in Nashville and, and it's home for us, but we actually have a place up here as well. My wife and I have a place in St. Catharines. Oh, very nice. Yeah. nice. Okay. Well, you're both no strangers to awards shows and um, we're, there's been a lot of talk lately in the music industry about possibly eliminating the male, female categories mm. and opting for just sort of more of like a just general yeah. awards. Sure. What do you think about this idea of just eliminating that? Oh God, it's so tricky. It's, it's so, one. yeah, it's a tough one. Cause I, uh, a part of me really appreciates um, uh, the industry trying to um, keep up with all these changes, with right? The times, equality, yeah. yeah, equality is very important, and we're you know trying to find all these ways to make it equal somehow. So mm -hmm. we'll do good things, and sometimes we'll say, oh well, that was not you know really the best idea, but we did what we could. Mm -hmm. So um, award shows on their own, they're a special thing, right? The yeah. politics of it and yeah. the, you yes. know, who's gonna win, who's not gonna win, and just um, choosing one over the other when really we're all working really hard and we should all win all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, just want them to, I just want them to create a category for best country pop duet. And I think, <laughs> I, think, I think we'd be in good shape. We know who would win, that's yeah. incredible. Now yeah, you're, so. <laughs> you're gearing up to go on your first Canadian headlining tour in January, which yeah. is huge. Yeah. What can fans expect? Man, you know what? I, I, I'm very excited about this tour, but I'm also nervous, you know, because having your name up on the marquee, it's a, it's a big step in an artist's career. But uh, I think that over the last couple of years, we've earned it. You know, we've been able to have a bunch of hit songs that people are going to hopefully be able to sing along to. And we're at the point now where we can play a good 75-minute set, and um, the fans are going to know the majority of the songs. They've heard them on the radio. So uh, it's very exciting. I, I can't wait to get out of oh, this He's tour. ready. That's yeah. ready. I'm so ready. Beautiful. You guys, uh, is there anything that you're hoping for with this song? What would be your dream as right now for this song to take off to? Oh my God, we just want to share it with the world. I don't think it's about like putting, you know, yeah. a, certifications a exactly. or anything like that. It's just we want our music to get to people's hearts, and that's what it did, you know, up to now, and that's what we hope is gonna. We've been, we've been really lucky because um, we've been able to make new fans in the process. Yeah. You know, I'm making fans in, in French Canada, in Quebec, and, and Marie May is making fans in, uh, in the rest of Canada. So, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things where we're, we have the best of both worlds. We're yeah. getting to... It's like a win-win. It's a total win-win. It, it, it is a win-win. Yeah. Win. Win. Well, you guys, thank you so much thank for coming here and spending some time with us. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. The Good Ones, it is available to stream and download now. We'll be right back.